What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and we are here at the Nerd Castle with the next episode of Beasts of Prey. In the previous episode, we had done mostly farming, unfortunately, and so I feel bad for that. So today, I've gone out of my way. Oh, someone's cooking up on the hill over there. Somebody's getting their metallurgical Heisenberg on. Okay, so in this episode, all we're gonna do is hang out and craft stuff, I think. We're gonna go ahead and try and expand our base out a little bit further, maybe add a few more foundations to every side. How does that sound? Sounds pretty good to me, so I think that's what we're gonna be doing. Let me open this door on up over here. And what I may do for the remainder, actually, we need to make sure that our metals are smelting right now, too. And really, really hoping this does not bug out on me. And so I'm gonna throw... There's only 12 charcoals. Okay, well, let's get the iron in there first. Let's make sure that the iron gets done over everything else. We'll put the charcoal in, and we'll just let that burn for a little bit. Just let it smolder for a little while. And then once we've got enough bars to go around, we will drop them in the pursuit of constructing all kinds of goodies. Now what I want to do is I'm going to put down my crafting table outside of my base for now. Somebody could come by and steal it. But that could happen outside my base too. We'll go to our crafting menu. We want to make the CNC crafting table. I had mentioned earlier on, I don't know what the CNC crafting table does versus the normal crafting table. But apparently it's super awesome. So let's go ahead and make ourselves one. And this one we'll put inside the base because this one was actually pretty expensive. It costs like gold bars and all kinds of other stuff. So I really, really, really don't want this one getting looted. The CNC crafting table appears to be a bit more technological than the previous one. It would actually a really good idea. Can I put this on top of my tower? Let's try that. If we can put it up on top of the tower, we can virtually guarantee that this thing's going to be safe because nobody will be able to mess with it. However, if you can't build on top of your tower, oh, that's troublesome. I don't know if there's drop damage in this game, but we're about to find out. Okay, so it appears as though there's no drop damage. That works out great. I'm going to put it maybe right here. Behind the ladder, like far enough into the base to where... Oh, it's got like a lathe and everything on it. Okay, so we've got like drills and all kinds of other good stuff right here. I wonder if this refines materials more effectively. I wish I had held on to... What can I... Is anything going to happen if I do this? Let's find out. Just leave it here for a second, be like, one, two, three, four, five, make up a little bit of a song with like a beat. No, nothing happens? Okay, well that's fine. The stone is what we're going to need. Let's also take a look at our new crafting list. So with our new crafting list, we can make... Well, it doesn't appear as though we can do a whole... Oh, I don't want to be using charcoal. Oh, I just saw that gunpowder requires charcoal. I am wasting resources right now, unfortunately. Well, I don't think we're going to be using wood for the remainder of the episode, so you know what? We'll just throw that in there. We are going to make a gun in this episode, for sure. No matter what, we're making a gun. Let's go out here and... Oh, I got to make the... Hold on. Let me do this first. We got to make ourselves some foundations. So I wanted to make four foundations. So where are those concrete foundations at? There they are. No, that's not... That's a wooden foundation. You are worthless to me. We want concrete foundation. Somebody's probably screaming at me right now where it's at, and I can't see it. Oh my god! Oh, concrete platform. That's why I didn't see it, is because, oh, that takes a lot. And we're going to do four of those, and we're just going to expand our base out in one direction. There we go. Pretty soon it'll be singing pop songs, and it'll be super popular, and there'll be ladies screaming everywhere that it shows up. Good for the base, not so great for me. I'm on management detail, so whatever. Whatever. Management takes like a 15% cut. It'll work out okay. So if I go right here, where can I plot these? Yeah, there it is. So we'll drop one right there. We'll drop one right there. And I don't know if I should go out in every direction. You know, let's go out in every direction. And so there's that. We need... Maybe one more. Let's make one more, just in case. I mean, I know we need one more. I gotta replace this, too, so it's not glitching through the ground all funny looking. Because that makes me sad. I don't like it when things look like that. Anytime you've got a ghostly platform crushing its way through the... I mean, I guess the wood here is very, very dense. It's crushing its way through concrete with no, with a reckless disregard for the building materials required. Basically, it's doing a little bit of arboreal vandalism to get back at us for all the terrible things we've done. Now, bushes and things are going to grow on these platforms, which disappoints me tremendously. But what I want to do now is let's play around with the concrete walls. So we'll go with, I don't know how many of these I want, but we'll go ahead and I'll craft them by hand right now. They're reasonably cheap. They only cost six stones, so I think 
I should be able to put down quite a few of these before we run out of stone materials because I went out and I farmed a lot. I farmed for about 45 minutes. Unfortunately, I think we are going to hit nighttime in this episode, so saws everybody. I just can't do anything about it. It's just the way the recording goes. I've got a stream in like 30. Oh, there's a guy down there. He's chopping trees. Let's pick up all of our goodies. Hopefully he doesn't try and murder us. But given the way that I've seen the player race kind of react in this game, I think it's probably a distinct likelihood. See, I don't actually think... Can you rotate the platforms upwards or something? Because I want to do what he's doing up there. Are these even the same thing? Let's go take a look and see if the gra... I don't think they are. I think these are two separate things. Because if you look at the graphic that he has up there versus the graphic we have right here... I don't know. But if I place these by hand... I can virtually assure you I'm going to screw this up. And so what we may want to try and do is maybe... Go something like this to keep it evened out? I mean, I can sort of see it. Sort of. I mean, it's probably still going to be kind of crooked, but... Oh, well. Yeah, I can see the two edges right there. So we'll just kind of have to do this eyeballing, unfortunately. But this should give us a little extra cover from, you know, the hordes outside who all want to stuff our ores into their pockets. I don't know what it is about our ores, but apparently we have the coolest ores ever, and everybody else wants some. And I cannot be the ore supplier for this entire area, so... I'd like to get at least an extra wall out so people can't look in. What I'll do right there is I'll make like a little curve in the wall. And then we'll bring it back like so. Yeah, that looks okay. It doesn't look terrible. I mean, for now, this is only acting as kind of like a garden fence, unfortunately. Because I don't even think there's like a concrete door or anything like that in the game. Still, this gives us an extra little bit of cover. In case anybody else starts to get a little bit antsy to mess with us. I, I don't know. I'm not the best constructor, you guys. I'm, I like to align myself more along the forces of destruction, to be honest. So. Not bad. Not bad. We've got one concrete wall left. I can't rotate this, unfortunately. I really sincerely wish that I could. And I'm interested in how he's doing what he's doing up there. We figured out how to do it with the wood platforms. So I'm hoping I'll come up with something innovative to make this work. But once again, it's Splattercat, so you never know. I could just kind of follow the trend here and be lame like that. Awesome. A little bit more wall put in. We've got this standout area over here, but I don't really mind it too much. This will allow us to have a bit further defilade. And what we can do now is let's see if maybe we can get some of this to connect with our other wall. So we'll come back. We'll put down the crafting table so that we can get back to crafting the... Oh, no, the iron ore. It's okay. We needed we needed a whole bunch of charcoal anyways so that we can make bullets and stuff. So I'm not that... Oh, it's not even done yet. Okay, even better. Let's throw the charcoal in here to make sure that it's not using the charcoal for anything detrimental. We'll throw copper ore in there, throw gold ore in there, and then actually, let me pull out the wood for a minute, because we're going to need it for some of our constructions. That'll keep cooking for just a second, but not for too long. The flames will unfortunately die out, and we're out of energy. I figured out what the green bar is, by the way. I asked somebody in chat the other day, and it's a rest bar. I don't know how it affects things, but I've noticed that when it's full up, you regenerate stamina a lot faster. How you restore that, I'm assuming that that's eventually, it's going to be like your rest or your hunger bar eventually. But as they have it right now, it regenerates when you stand still and it goes down when you're moving around. So I should also investigate, let me make sure 100% that there's no like concrete door or any type of new concrete wall that I'm screwing up here. I mean, this is kind of my first foray into the game, so I am learning along the way. Every now and again, I learn, you know, extra little things here, extra little things there. Oh, good. It's bugged out. That's enjoyable. Do you have to have the other crafting table nearby as well? Let me take a look here. 
Oh, I have two crafting tables now. I've bugged the game. Great. So we'll drop that right there just to have it in the vicinity of us. And we have the CNC. I don't see a concrete wall with a door anywhere. So... We may have to go through with our other plan of keeping the wooden wall going. A concrete wall, but nothing like a concrete wall slash door. And that's really the sort of modifier that I'm looking for here. Did I just hear a gunshot? I thought I just heard a gunshot. I only think I need three of these, maybe. Because ultimately, we only really need it to hook up with the concrete wall over on the other side. And so we'll make that with the wooden door. And then we can get back to cooking stuff again. On this side. So let me put the wood back in there. That's fine. We'll put the aluminium ore in there. The magnesium ore. I want to make sure that everything is... Because it does cook simultaneously if you put more than... You know, a certain amount in here. So it is, it is actually a good idea to put a ton of stuff in here. Because you get more bang from your buck out of... The wood, I think. I could be wrong. And so the sulfides are in there, they're cooking. We've got charcoal, we've got pipes. I'm just kind of taking an eyeball right now and making sure that... It tends to make people a little bit blinder whenever I take an eyeball, but that's my clumsy way of saying that... I'm trying to get things to work the way that I want. And I think I want the door... Not on the second floor, absolutely not there. Oh, that's right, we needed wood foundations too. So we'll actually have to extend this out. I'm not really liking the way... I think foundations and platforms should function pretty much the same. I... I'm a little bit weird about why they decided to orchestrate things the way that they did. Because it ends up forcing you to use way more than you... Know, stop that. It ends up forcing you to use way more materials than you otherwise would have. And I'm not trying to be punny because I'm using wood to craft everything. That's not my intent. I'm just saying... So now we need, as long as the iron ingots get done, I don't really care about everything else. Everything else is sort of secondary. We'll take the charcoal out too because I want to make some bullets. We'll see if we can craft those in just a moment. So what I need now is to make a few more wood platforms. I don't really like this, but... Or I already have wood found. Oh, I have a bunch of wood foundations. That might actually get the job done because I... Will four do it? Let's find out if four will do this. I don't know if four is going to be enough to make this work properly, but we'll give it a go. So there's one, because we only need it to go around the edge here. There's that. There's that, and then we'll draw it. We need one more. Okay, so that's not quite so bad. I thought I was going to be using a ton of materials in order to get this to work. We only need one more foundation. I'm glad we got to do a construction episode. These are my favorite episodes where I just get to sit around and fiddle with stuff for a while. And so we'll make one foundation. There it is. And after having crafted said foundation, we'll come back. And we'll drop it right here. Well, I mean, it's sort of aligned properly. I may have to... Eyeball this with one more concrete wall. Let's do that now so that I don't mess it up any further. We'll eyeball it with one concrete wall. It's going to look a little bit slow. It's going to look broken, but what are you going to do about it? With the way they've got wood and concrete materials segmented from one another, you'd think they would use the same building system for the platforms they use for those right there, but I guess it just wasn't in the cards for whoever the designer is. Or maybe they plan to integrate it later. No idea. And so what I would need to do right here... Actually, let's place our other walls first. We're going to place... So we'll go with the wooden wall right there with the door. Let's take our other four walls. Drop them right there, drop them right there. Awesome. And so now we're sort of locked in. And what I need over here because of the offset is going to be ugly. But, oh, that bush is going to sabotage me, isn't it? Okay. I mean, it's going to be ugly, but there it is right there in order to make that work. 
Let's take a look from the outside and see if there's any way for us to invade and get in here. Looks like that gap is fairly well sealed. This wall is looking okay, albeit a little bit low, but nobody can build on my land, so... If you've claimed an area, you 100% can't build anything on it. And so the bonus side right there, I shouldn't have built my house so close to the wall too, because that's how people are looting through my walls and getting me. But, on the plus side... It's looking fairly secure. I could expand this out a little bit further on this side. And just close it off entirely so that nobody can get near my walls. For paranoia's sake, and to use up some of the stone that I have, and so I may do that just to like fill episode space. But we'll make a gun first. We'll make a gun and some ammunition first. So we've got the lathe over here. I don't know what this thing does, in all honesty. It appears to do something. Let's make some pistol ammo. And if that works, we'll make ourselves a pistola. How much ammo did that give me? Five bullets? So you get five bullets out for each one that you put in, and it takes charcoal, and it takes sulfur powder. Did it take any iron to do that? It took two ingots. Okay, so that's expensive. But to make a pistol, what do we do there? Let's find ourselves... I think it's at the top, the 9mm Beretta. We need a pistol frame, and we need a pistol barrel. And I think the frame was made out of... I don't know. The pistol frame... So we can make the barrel. Let's make the barrel now. And the frame was made out of metal plates. So let's go ahead and make two metal plates. Oh, and this is I'm getting excited now. I'm starting to get that feeling. And so we can make the night we need a pistol. Oh, I didn't make the pistol frame yet. So the pistol frame. There it is. Ooh, this is gonna be so sick. We need it oh, we needed aluminum earlier. That was the problem. Oh, I wanna shoot another player so badly. So we've got a 9mm Beretta now. Oh, that's so dope. Oh, hell yeah. Can I turn on the flashlight? It's got a flashlight on the pistol. Well, at least in the picture it does. But I'm pressing L and all those other buttons that typically are your light buttons and they don't appear to be working. How's the sound effect? Oh. Nice! I mean, it's making good... I suppose the air might be especially humid today, but normally, in my experience, that doesn't happen. I want to go out and shoot somebody right now, so we're going to go ahead and make all of our ammo. I'm going to put all of my eggs in one basket, Now, if I end up getting murdered in between here and the next episode, I don't really care, because this is the greatest thing ever. We've got like 20 minutes in, and it's dark now, so I'm not going to be able to hunt anybody, but I know that guy's up on the hill. So maybe in the next episode, we'll go murder the guy on the hill. We'll see. I mean, he's going to be our test bed for whether or not all this is going to work. Oh, it didn't use up any of our parts, strangely enough. It just gave us a pistol and didn't consume any of the Can I make another one? Oh, yeah, it made two 9mm Beretta. That time it used up the materials, but the first time it didn't. How strange. How very, very weird. We've got 22 ingots left. I think we run out of sulfur. Yeah, sulfur was our limiting reagent right there. And so I, as much as I would love to go out and shoot somebody, we're not going to be able to see them in the dark, so... I can barely see as it is. They haven't put in any of the lighting effects yet. Is that even using my ammo, though? I don't think that it is. I mean, it might be in some weird passive way, but it looks like... Yeah, we're coming for you. Guy on hill. <laughs> yep, that guy's totally getting murdered in the next episode. I'm going to cut this one a little bit short. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle for another blind episode of Beasts of Prey. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and... Hi, do.